Hey everyone. Welcome back to Nature Travel Boy TV. Today, we're diving deep into one of Iceland's hidden wonders, the Vithgalmir Lava Cave. This place is not just another cave, it's one of the largest lava tubes in Iceland, and it's packed with history, natural beauty, and some seriously cool geology. So, grab your helmets and let's go underground. Iceland, a land of fire and ice, is renowned for its dramatic landscapes shaped by volcanic activity. Among its many natural wonders lies Vithgalmir, one of the largest and most significant lava caves in the country. Situated in the Holmundaran lava field in western Iceland, Vithgalmir offers a unique glimpse into the geological history and cultural heritage of this volcanic island. This article explores the history, formation, and significance of Vithgalmir lava cave in Iceland. Formation and Geology Vithgalmir is one of Iceland's largest lava tubes, formed approximately 1,100 years ago during a volcanic eruption in the Holmundaran lava field. Lava tubes like Vithgalmir are created when the surface of a lava flow cools and solidifies while molten lava continues to flow beneath the hardened crust. As the flow eventually subsides, a hollow tube is left behind. Vithgalmir stretches about 1,600 meters 5, feet, in length, with a width of up to 16 meters 52 feet, and a height reaching 15 meters 49 feet, in some sections, making it one of the widest and tallest lava tubes in Iceland. The cave's interior is adorned with a stunning array of lava formations, including stalactites, stalagmites, and colorful lava striations. These features are the result of variations in lava flow speed, temperature, and gas content during the cave's formation. The intricate textures and vivid colors of the cave walls provide a mesmerizing glimpse into the forces that shaped Iceland's volcanic landscape. Historical and Cultural Significance Vithgalmir holds great historical and cultural importance in Iceland. Archaeological evidence suggests that the cave was inhabited by humans during the Viking Age, around the 10th century. Excavations have uncovered remnants of ancient stone shelters, animal bones, and tools, indicating that early Icelandic settlers sought refuge in the cave. These findings provide valuable insights into the lives of Iceland's first inhabitants and their relationship with the island's rugged environment. In addition to its archaeological significance, Vithgalmir is also mentioned in Icelandic sagas, the epic narratives that recount the history and folklore of the island. The cave is thought to have served as a hiding place for outlaws and fugitives, adding a layer of mystique to its already fascinating history. These connections to Iceland's past enhance the cave's cultural value and make it a site of interest for both historians and tourists. Exploration and Tourism Vithgalmir was rediscovered in the early 20th century, and since then, it has been explored and mapped extensively by speleologists and adventurers. Today, the cave is accessible to the public, with guided tours offering visitors the chance to explore its vast chambers and marvel at its natural beauty. The tours are designed to be educational, highlighting the geological processes that form the cave, its historical significance, and the delicate ecosystem that thrives within its dark, subterranean environment. Visitors to Vithgalmir can experience the cave's awe-inspiring scale and complexity, walking along illuminated pathways that showcase the most impressive features of the lava tube. The tours are conducted with a strong emphasis on conservation, ensuring that the cave's fragile formations are preserved for future generations. Efforts are made to minimize human impact, including limiting visitor numbers and carefully managing access to sensitive areas. bit darker and a wee bit colder and uh, so everybody has torches on top of their headlights you can turn these on now uh, we keep these on for the duration of the tour so that we can see anything we'd like to see a piece of rock a piece of the wall a piece of the ceiling it just makes it a bit more of a personal experience for you uh, we'll be walking along these wooden platforms for the majority of the tour however they do have these little gaps in between that are perfect size for a mobile phone um, I'm not the best climber in the world, I will try and retrieve your phone, but I've been unsuccessful in the past. Uh, so keep your pockets zipped up, you're welcome to take photographs, but it is just something to be aware of that we can have books. There is also a bit of ice on the ground in this next section. Uh, we do have these green mats um, that are... Sorry guys, I'm just, this is important for everybody to, to listen to. Uh, so we do have some ice on the ground. Just be aware, take small steps. We're not in a rush, uh, so just take your time. Um, we do have these green mats that are laid out to mitigate how slippy it is. 
but it is just something to keep in mind. Uh, is anybody here claustrophobic or afraid in the small space? No. No? Okay. That's good. Uh, we have most of the, ca of the cave looks like this large chambers, uh, but we do have one small section. <laughs> you're, you're nodding your head. Uh, so we call this small section the squeeze. Uh, so the squeeze is this tall at the top and this wide at the bottom, and there's a few steps involved in making your way through the squeeze. Uh, the first step is we ask that everybody can bend their knees. Is everybody able to do that? Wonderful job. Okay. Uh, the next step, we ask that you have to get on your hands and knees, and there's a bit of crawling. Um, and then there's a river. I assume you guys can all swim. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? There's no, there's no, there's no. Everyone was fine Yeah, you either get crazy laughs or just like, what is she talking about? Highlighting the geological processes that form the cave its historical significance, and the delicate ecosystem that thrives within its dark, subterranean environment. Visitors to Vithgalmir can experience the cave's awe-inspiring scale and complexity, walking along illuminated pathways that showcase the most impressive features of the lava too. The tours are conducted with a strong emphasis on conservation, ensuring that the cave's fragile formations are preserved for future generations. Efforts are made to minimize human impact, including limiting visitor numbers and carefully managing access to sensitive areas. Significance to Iceland Vithgalmir is more than just a geological marvel, it is a symbol of Iceland's volcanic heritage and the resilience of its people. The cave represents the dynamic forces that have shaped the island's landscape over millennia, from fiery eruptions to the slow cooling and solidification of lava. As one of the largest and best preserved lava tubes in Iceland, Vithgalmir serves as a natural museum, offering insights into the island's volcanic history and the adaptability of its early inhabitants. The cave's significance extends beyond its geological and historical value. It is also an important site for scientific research, providing a natural laboratory for studying volcanic processes, subterranean ecosystems, and the impact of human activity on delicate cave environments. Researchers continue to explore Vithgalmir, uncovering new discoveries that contribute to our understanding of Iceland's dynamic landscape. Let's go nature travel board. I said okay. That's all right. Yeah, no, it's, it looks great. You'll be able to see loads. All right, you're okay. <laughs> In 2015, when these wooden platforms were built, the builders used to come in here to eat their lunch. Uh, it's also the coldest room in the cave, so it's currently minus 3 to minus 4 degrees. Um, as opposed to the other rooms, which stay at that constant temperature throughout the year of 0 to 1 degree. Uh, so we get a different temperature in this room, because you'll notice the squeeze entrance that we came through has an air Winter air comes in during the winter and creates some seasonal lights, which you'll be able to see around. So if you see anything in the walls that it's quite sparkly, glittery, or anything on the ground, that's the ice trapped in the ground. So the ice is in its melting phase. It forms around December, January time, and it will be gone completely by about August. So keep that in mind. We have a look at the ground underneath us too. Give it a little tap with your foot. You can hear that it's quite hollow. Yeah. And um, so this type of lava flow is called Hoi Hoi lava, and it's a Hawaiian vocab word. Uh, so lots of the early research for um, lava tube caves and lava tunnels, like our one, were done in Hawaii. So some of the words that we've got are Hawaiian. Does 
descent. Uh, so this Pohoi Hoi flow is a flat type of lava flow. The other type of flow is called an a a flow. Cool. Very spiky, jagged, open bottom. So we're very grateful that the ground of our cave is this flat. while it was still quite hot. 
test, we imagine it was maybe around 30 to 50 degrees Celsius in and around that temperature range. And so very hot for a
Oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> so we are about halfway through our cave. There's a sharp right hand turn ahead of us. The cave goes on for another maybe 750 feet. So it gets quite narrow. We wouldn't have to crawl through it if we did go. And it would take us about three hours. So as it goes now, it's taking us just under an hour to get here. Walking casually. Good job, good guess, yes. Uh, so we like to experience the 0% light, complete darkness, darkness okay, that darkness, the cave has to offer. Okay, yeah. uh, so we turn all of our headlights off and find a space around the platform. Um, is another tip that I've learned from everybody just press gathers around the edge. You can turn off. Here, and the water, 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 and
So you can drink the water, it's not over. Yeah. And then it goes down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.